Are you done being a W-2 employee? Here's how to find your freedom as a business owner. How do you quit your job and become a business owner in 2022? That is a really great question. As an experienced franchise consultant, I'll tell you that I have helped a lot of people conquer that moment in their life. It's never an easy one. It takes a lot of guts. It takes big, clear goals. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. Before I get into that, though, I just want to ask you, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you can be alerted to all of the videos that I'm putting out. Let's go back to how do you quit your job and say yes to your dreams to own a franchise business in the new year? The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is please bring your spouse into this conversation. <laughs> I have other videos where I explain that you can do this to your spouse or with your spouse, but having spousal support, even just to explore a franchise, is critically important to the entire process. The next thing I want you to do is take the pressure off of having to say yes. Saying yes to a franchise investment is the logical thing to do when you've asked enough questions and you're satisfied with enough of the answers. No business is ever going to be the perfect right thing and there's never going to be the perfect time to say yes. So being 100% sure that this is the right thing to do, that's an unrealistic expectation of this process. But I do think that with proper guidance from an experienced franchise consultant like The Daily Coach, you can feel 80 to 90% sure that you've asked the right questions, that you've done all the things that you can do to make this decision feel like the best decision for you at this moment in your life. Before we begin exploring specific franchise opportunities, we have to back up the conversation all the way to your reasons for wanting out of your W-2 job. Now, not every franchise out there requires you to quit the job, there are businesses that are called semi-absentee ownership that would allow you to keep one foot in the W-2 world and one foot in business ownership so that if you're the primary breadwinner of your household and your spouse is ready to divorce you at the thought of you quitting your job to go follow your dream to own a business, we don't have to cause that divorce. We can keep one foot in corporate America, keep your spouse happy, and put one foot into your future of owning your own business. And when that business gets to a point in its growth where it can afford you, then you can more confidently and safely leave the W-2 job and step into full-time ownership. The interesting thing about that path, however, is that if that business was running with you only being in it semi-absent, which typically means somewhere between 10 and 20 hours a week, when the business can afford you, you won't have to leave your W-2 job and jump in as the full-time owner of the business because the business has already been working without you. At that point, when you leave your W-2 job, you will have freedom, you will have opportunity then to maybe find another business or to take that business to the next level of growth. But let's say that your goal really is to leave the W-2 job. I have many candidates coming to me feeling pressure from the politics of the big company that they work for, feeling pressure to make decisions about their lives that don't align with who they are. And they're coming to me saying, help me find freedom. Help me find a way out, Kim. And franchising can be an amazing option for those W-2 employees who've never owned a business before, but who are crying out for that personal freedom, for the control over their life, for the stability over their financial future, and for the opportunity to make decisions that align with who they are and to reap the full reward for all the effort that they put in. So once you have your spouse on board and we agree that this entire process is exploratory, then we're going to build a model and typically I'm gonna split your model between semi-absentee options and full-time ownership. 
Because oftentimes people don't know if they can afford to leave their job until they explore some opportunities and put together the financial projections to understand when that business can cash flow and can they afford to live during that ramp up period. But I don't wanna go all the way down that trail for you to then realize that you can't afford to quit your job. I'd rather split the model so that if leaving your W-2 job today is not the right thing to do, we have options to fall back on. Again, those semi-absentee options. So when you work with The Daily Coach, we are going to start with your goals and dreams. Before I bring opportunity to you and we start talking about your interests and your skills and your finances, I'm infinitely more interested in what are you trying to accomplish through the business. The business is just the vehicle that's going to drive your life to this new place. So the more clearly that you can communicate to me what that new place looks like, when you want to get there, and the kind of style that you want to arrive in, right? Are we cruising along the highway at 50 miles an hour in a Suburban? Or are we on the back of a motorcycle with no helmet in the fast lane? There are different investments for different risk tolerances. There are different investments for different outcomes. Some people want to invest in a business that they want to build to sell. Others want to invest in a business that they can build and maybe pass on to their children. So those are going to be potentially different businesses that we would look at. So we start with a goals and dreams exercise that really helps you and your spouse get clear and fully aligned with what we want this business to do for you. So if you have a whole pie of all of your investments, I want to know what slice of the pie does this franchise investment represent? Are you looking for this franchise investment to be 100% of the income that's coming into your house? 50%, 25%, and the more clear that you get on that, the easier this process will go. Identifying the franchise is the easiest thing to do when you are clear on what you're using the business for. Okay, so we do all of that. Your spouse is in agreement. We have a good goals and dreams worksheet. We're clear on what we're trying to get to. So now it's up to the daily coach to bring back some appropriate vehicles to get you from here to there. And as I've explained, I typically will split your model to look at a couple of options that are semi-absentee and a couple of options that would allow you to dive in full time. Because I mean, if you're dying to leave your W-2 job to start a business, I wanna give you those opportunities. But again, at the end of the day, if you can't pay your mortgage, you can't say yes to the dream. So then the semi-absentee option might be the better way to go. Now, the other thing that sometimes is a stumbling block to people's dreams to own a business is they don't have enough money today. So I don't want you to disqualify yourself by watching this video or even just assuming as you're thinking about owning a business, you start to assume that, well, I can't afford it. Yes, it takes money to make money, but there are franchises in all different ranges of investments. There are some that are 30, 40, $50,000 all in, and there are some that are three, four, five million dollars all in. Through my process, I will gather your financials and then we'll talk about what your money buys. I want the opportunity to educate you about what different businesses cost and why. (laughs) Because sometimes now is not the right time, but it's no good to just go away saying, okay, I can't afford it. It's better to go away inspired because you're armed with education and you know exactly what you need to do and how much money you need to save and then when to call me back. But assuming that you have the financials, now we've split the model, we're going to go through this one to two month due diligence process. But week by week by week, I, as your daily coach, am gonna be checking in with you to see how do you feel? How does your spouse feel? Are these opportunities aligning with the vision of your future? As you're ready to break up with companies, I will let those companies know that you're gonna focus your efforts somewhere else so that you can keep moving forward. 
We're going to go through this very logical, well thought out, well traveled road of exploring a franchise because I've been doing this for 19 years. So you're going to be leveraging 19 years of experience, of relationships, of process. You don't have to know what the questions are. You don't have to know what's coming next because I do. And that's why we do this together. And remember that my services are free. So you have nothing to risk by using my service and potentially everything to gain. Even if the gain is just to figure out that now is not the right time. But let's assume that you're going through the due diligence process. Things are starting to add up. We throw in some financing so that you understand how you can finance your franchise investment. And in as short as four to six weeks, you could be standing at the altar of this marriage ceremony with your franchisor where they're going to ask for your hand in this marriage partnership. Because exploring a franchise, getting to that yes, is a mutual evaluation process. The franchisor has to feel that you have the skill, that you have the financial wherewithal, that you have the grit to get in there and take their brand and make something of it in your hometown. While you're doing your due diligence on them, they're doing their due diligence on you. We want everybody to feel good that this is the right opportunity for you. Listen, no franchisor wants to award you a franchise if this is not the right thing for you financially. It's okay to be honest with the franchisor as you're going down the path and ask them, so can I be a semi-absentee owner or do I need to quit my job? Because what good does it do a franchisor to award you a franchise if what you're thinking your time commitment in the business is going to be differs from what they know your time commitment needs to be? So we come to the end of your due diligence process. You've asked all the questions. You've talked to franchise owners, which is called validation. You're now ready to say yes. You've been awarded the opportunity to move forward. How do you quit your job and say yes? You do it through the clarity of your goals. You do it by creating a very simple daily plan that will show you how to take your annual revenue goal all the way down to a daily sales goal that is small and achievable, that will incrementally take you to where you wanna end up at the end of the year. You make this dream come true by having clear, specific goals set to a big why. The business is the vehicle that can drive your life to this new place but you have to have the clear dream of where you want to end up. And that dream has to be inspired by an even bigger why. The why is because you can't get where you want to go by working for somebody else. The why is because you don't have a say in your personal and professional career when you work for somebody else. The why is because you've hit a glass ceiling in that corporate America job. The why is because there's no security when you work for somebody else. The why that is your why comes from you. Only you know what is motivating you to this moment in your life. But if you are motivated to think about starting a business in the new year, you know that I want to be your daily coach. I would ask you to follow the link below to contact me. Somebody on my team will reach out to you within 24 to 48 hours to set up our first call. You don't have to know that this is going to be the right thing for you to take the first step and to reach out to me. In fact, I prefer that you don't. I prefer that you take all of the pressure off of the process, that you come to me with an open heart, that you come to me willing to be educated. Let me be your coach to teach you what you need to know and what the real value proposition between a franchisee and a franchisor is. And if by asking enough of the right questions, you find the answers that satisfy you, then your life could go in a whole new direction in 2022. If I can be your daily coach, please do not hesitate to reach out. If you've enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.